I'm a clinical nurse specialist in dermatology. I work at the Children's Hospital in Sheffield. What I'd like to do is to talk to you about the importance of a good and a consistent emollient regime in children. I'd also like to show you how to apply moisturisers properly and go through some of the ways that we can make it fun when using it with children. Anna's just had a bath um, and she had some bath oil. Um, which is very important and she was also washed with an emollient a, a wash and now what I'm going to do is put her moisturizers on all over her body not just on the areas that you can see the eczema I'd like to do it all over her body because of course that's very very important and one of the things about using emollients in the winter is that they are very cold so what I'm doing now is just heating them up a little bit I'm tired, before we put them on your arms Okay, can I pop some on your arms please? Would that be okay? Now Anna's eczema is quite well controlled at the moment and she is um, she is quite mild with her eczema. Um, a lot of children do manage very very well if they have mild eczema with just a complete emollient regime. Others obviously who have more difficult eczema will need to have topical steroids and possibly even um, oral therapy or antibiotics if there's an infection problem but there about 25% of children with eczema will do very nicely on a complete um, emollient regime. Now I'm putting her moisturizers on all over as I said I'm also doing it in a downward fashion and I'm not rubbing. One of the problems with rubbing if you have a child with eczema is that you can actually make the eczema worse, it can feel quite uncomfortable so we always put the moisturiser on in a downward fashion also to prevent something called folliculitis which is just inflammation of the hair follicles. Now obviously Anna's quite young and she doesn't have hairy arms but this would be particularly important for older um, children or adults. It's recommended that we use between 250 to 500 grams of emollient per week. That would be one tub a week or half a tub if it's 250. There's many different types of moisturiser and many of them come in pump dispensers and it will be of course the children's choice or the adult's choice which one they prefer because the one that they prefer will be the one that they use. The benefits of using a pump dispenser are that there's no cross-contamination with infection whereas some of the older fashioned pots that have got white necks you'll find um, you have to use a spoon or a spatula.